Hi everyone, this is Dale Kirby, Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. I wanted to do a quick demo of how we can use Ansible to dynamically onboard some AWS EC2 instances into Azure using Azure Arc. Uh, and once we've done that, we can then manage those resources as first class resources in Azure. So you can see here I've got eight EC2 instances. I've got a mix of Ubuntu and Windows servers. And what we'll be able to do once we've completed the exercise is see these resources as first class Azure Arc enabled servers inside of Azure. And then we can do things like manage them with Azure policy. Uh, we can send logs from, from them to log analytics, all that kind of stuff. So if I switch over to the Azure portal, you see I have an empty Azure resource group, Arc AWS demo here. And after the exercise, once we've run the Ansible playbook, we'll see uh, our eight EC2 instances projected into Azure as Azure Arc enabled servers. And then from there, as I said, we can do things like monitor them with log analytics, uh, do things like update management, manage them with Azure policy, etc. So well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to remote into a CentOS uh, control server that I'll be using to run my Ansible playbook. Now you could do this on a local machine. In this case, I'm just using a, uh, a control server. Uh, you can see on this server, I've got uh, an Ansible configuration. And one of the key things that I'm using as part of this configuration is a Ansible plugin uh, that is, it's the AWS underscore EC2 plugin. You can see it here. And what this plugin does is it'll let me dynamically read my AWS EC2 inventory. Uh, so I don't have to manually input servers or manually, you know, maintain my, my, my server inventory. This plugin is going to dynamically read that from AWS by using a, uh, a uh, access key ID and secret. And so one of the first things I'll need to do to configure Ansible is I'll need to export that secret, that, that ID and secret as uh, uh, environment variables. So I'll do that here. And once I do that, the plugin will be able to work. It'll be able to go out to, to AWS and dynamically read my inventory and then run Ansible playbooks against it. Uh, the next thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to configure some variables in my playbook itself. And so I'll go and navigate to the group vars directory. And you see in this directory, there's a file called all.yaml. I'm going to open that file up and I'm going to specify a couple of variables. Uh, the first is the resource group that I want my servers to land in. Uh, we saw that earlier, arc-aws-demo. I'll need to provide my Azure tenant ID. And so you, I can go ahead and paste that in there. I'm going to tell it Azure, I'm going to give an Azure region that I want to uh, use as uh, uh, the region for Azure that will be landing these servers in for their metadata. And then I'll finally, I'll provide a subscription ID uh, so that uh, uh, the, tar the Ansible playbook knows which uh, uh, parameters to use when onboarding these servers with Azure Arc. Uh, so the next thing to do is to go ahead and run the uh, playbook itself. And I'll take a look, we can take a look at that playbook here. Uh, you can see here that the playbook includes a couple tasks. There's a, a task for onboarding uh, Linux machines. There's a bunch of servers we have, and there's a task for onboarding Windows machines. And they're, they're, they're two different tasks, obviously, because the, uh, the binary to install the ARC connected machine agent is going to be different. Uh, and the actual command to onboard the server is a little bit different, obviously, depending on the type of OS you're using. And so uh, once I have, uh, I'm comfortable with all the things that I've set up, I can go ahead and run the playbook. And so you see me running the playbook here. I'll specify the name of the playbook, the arc underscore agent dot YAML. Uh, and then I'll provide it some parameters that we'll need to um, have that playbook run successfully. I'm telling it to use the plugin that I mentioned earlier to dynamically read my AWS inventory. And then I'm gonna provide a Azure service principle and secret so that uh, we have access to actually onboard the machines with Azure. The, the, uh, the Arc Connected Machine agent requires this service principle and secret uh, for the, the rights permissions to, to, uh, to access and write to Azure. Uh, so the playbook is running. Uh, the first thing it's doing is it's gathering the inventory that that, that plugin is uh, managing dynamically. Uh, and then it's going to go ahead and use some branching logic based on the underlying OS, again, Windows or Linux to go ahead and install the agent, uh, which is the Arc Connected Machine Agent. That's the agent that actually onboards the server from AWS into Azure as an Azure Arc enabled server. Uh, and then it's gonna actually install that agent and configure that agent with the AZCM uh, uh, agent connect command. Um, and so 
while we wait for that server, just a little bit of, uh, of notes about uh, the actual playbook itself. In the playbook, we have an option to do this, uh, to install the agent via a proxy. In my case, in this case, we're not actually, we don't need that proxy, but if you're going to be, uh, if you have a proxy in your configuration, you can use the same playbook that I'm using here to, um, to, handle, that, to handle that type of configuration. Um, by the way, all the code that I'm, doing, that I'm using to run this is available on the Azure Arc Jumpstart, which you can find at aka.ms slash arc dash jumpstart. Uh, and so you can do the exact same exercise that we're doing here uh, in your own environment by using the, the same code, the same Ansible playbook. Uh, and there's a, lo there's a list of detailed instructions on how to do this, and it even includes Terraform plan to, uh, to create a sample Ansible, uh, excuse me, a sample AWS inventory. So we're going to give it just another minute here. It looks like it was able to connect the, um, the Linux agents, uh, and now it's going on to the Windows servers and connecting the Windows servers, uh, projecting them as Azure resources. Uh, the agent was installed. We're going ahead and running the connect command as part of the playbook. And if everything works out and the servers get projected, we should then be, be able to see them in Azure in the resource group we showed earlier. And then from there, we can apply, you know, we can do all the same things that we could with a native Azure VM, such as use Azure policy to manage those servers uh, at scale to, you know, to ensure things like compliance scenarios to automatically deploy um, uh, for example, the log analytics agent so that we can monitor the servers, that we can collect metrics on them, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's really one of the great things about Azure Arc is that it lets us use Azure as a control plane for not only Azure resources, but resources that live wherever we have them. That might be AWS. You know, we could do the same thing with GCP uh, servers. We could do the same thing with on-prem or even bare metal uh, uh, machines. And so... I'm in Azure now, and I can see that um, my servers are now projected into Azure. These are servers that are EC2 instances, but they're projected as first-class resources inside of Azure. And you see all eight of the servers, the Ubuntu machines and the Windows machines, uh, are now these first-class Azure Arc-enabled resources. And uh, from there, like I said, we could start to apply Azure uh, uh, constructs like Azure Policy, update management, change tracking, all these kinds of things as if they were native Azure VMs. Uh, so I hope you liked the demo. Uh, if you want to get the same code for yourself, like I said, it's aka.ms slash arc dash jumpstart. Uh, enjoy.